Your friend sends you a text to say that the boss at her new co-op keeps making comments about her legs and her dress, and it's really starting to creep her out. How do you respond? So there's a couple things that we really need to unpack. The first one is, sometimes when women talk about their experiences of harassment and being creeped on, our friends don't respond in the best way, and it's not because they don't care about us, it's because they genuinely don't understand why that behavior would make us upset. And I can speak from personal experience. <laughs> I've been 5'10 since the seventh grade, which means I spent all of my teenage years being creeped on by older men who could not believe that I was under 18 and who would talk about my body in ways that made me feel uncomfortable, but that were also confusing because everyone around me responded with, wow, must be nice. I wish men talked to me like that. I wish, you know, men paid attention to me like that. And I get it. When you're young, you don't have a lot of power in the world, especially if you're a young woman. And so any way in which you can feel special and mature feels nice. And that's why it gets confusing when your gut is telling you, but I don't like this. The second piece of this scenario that's complicated is that your friend's not texting you to say, hey, I just got catcalled while waiting for the bus. Your friend's telling you she's being creeped on by her boss. This is someone with an incredible amount of power over her. She's doing a co-op placement, which means she wants a good reference. She wants to put it on her CV. And so it can feel impossible to respond in this moment because you're just thinking about the future and the opportunities that could be taken away from you. And so I want you to take a moment and really think about this from a practical perspective. Your friend texts you and saying, you know, I'm being creeped on at my placement. What do you think? And so take a minute now and talk about some ways in which you could respond to your friend um, that support her and provide her with the validation that she's looking for. We all have the right to a safe work environment, whether we're staff, or a volunteer, we all have the right to be treated respectfully. But in moments like this, again, it's not easy, but it's important to know that it's not impossible. The first thing to do is to recognize the privilege in this moment that you have. Your friend is telling you specifically because they trust you and they trust your opinion. And so that's a good sign. It means your friends trust you and they trust that you're gonna have their back, which is the first step. This is especially important if you're a young man, because oftentimes women will connect with the guy friends in their life to sort of just check in with them and say, you know, from your perspective as a guy, is this normal? Should I be okay with this? How, you know, should I, how should I respond? And so you have an incredible opportunity as a young man to say, no, this is not okay. Flirting is consensual. You are not comfortable, which means you're not consenting. So you absolutely have the right to feel uncomfortable right now. And no, you should not just expect this kind of behavior from men. You're allowed to expect better from them. And so as a friend in this moment, your friend is coming to you, right? They're looking for validation. And so it's important to say, I've got your back. I'm so sorry, that's gross, that's not okay. How can I help you? Do you want me to help you report it to someone? Do you want me to just check in with you every time you have a shift to make sure that you know that like, hey, I'm aware of what's going on and I'm here for you if you want to vent about it. But really important that we remember that we all, all of us have the right to go to work, to go to school, to be at home, to be on the sidewalk, regardless of where we are in the world, we have the right to do it in safety and we all have the right to strong friendships and we all deserve really awesome solid friends that are always going to have our backs when we ask them for support. Mm -hmm.